Thank you all for listening. My name is Catherine, and I'm excited to tell you about the research project I've been working on at Bethel University. To give a little background, one in three adults in the United States likely has non-alcoholic fatty liver disease without their knowledge. NAFLD and its more inflammatory subtype, NASH, are liver diseases characterized by excess storage of triglycerides that develop in the absence of significant alcohol abuse. Further, NFALD slash NASH is a major cause of liver cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. In the progression of this disease is largely due to the activity of a specific immune system cell, the macrophage. Two types of macrophages are linked to the inflammation observed and include Kupfer cells, which reside in the liver, and monocyte-derived macrophages. During liver injury, such as accumulation of triglycerides, monocyte-derived macrophages are recruited to the liver and secrete pro-inflammatory cytokines, such as TNF-alpha and IL-1-beta. Omega-3 fatty acids, or fish oils, are popular nutritional supplements that are known to have anti-inflammatory effects. Omega-3 fatty acids bind to the GPCR free fatty acid receptor 4, also called GPR120, on the surface of macrophages, and prevent the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines. As shown in the figure on the left, bacterial infection leads to lipopolysaccharide and TNF-alpha production and signaling through these receptors, which causes inflammation. On the right, when omega-3 fatty acids are present, signaling through FFAR4 causes hijacking of a key player in the signaling event. While this image indicates inflammation induced by bacterial infection, because we are interested in the metabolic disease NAFLD, we plan to induce liver injury by saturated fatty acid overload instead. Levels of saturated fatty acid palmitate are elevated in the bloodstream of individuals with metabolic diseases such as type 2 diabetes and obesity. And since palmitate is also thought to bind to TLR4, this makes it a metabolically appropriate signal. Our goal for this project was to determine the role of FFAR4 and NFLD slash NASH by comparing macrophage activity in the livers of wild type mice versus FFAR4 knockout mice. We want to figure out if FFAR4 knockout mice will have increased recruitment to the liver, and we also want to know how liver niche trained FFAR4 knockout macrophages will react in a fatty environment by measuring pro-inflammatory cytokine secretion. To briefly describe our experimental process, six wild type and six knockout mice were sacrificed, and cells in the livers were isolated by perfusing the livers with saline and dissociating into individual cells. A portion of total dissociated cells was analyzed for individual cell population counting by cytometry time of flight at the University of Minnesota. From the remaining dissociated cells, macrophages were positively selected using anti-F480 magnetic beads. 50,000 liver macrophages were plated in 96 well plates and treated with 400 micromolar palmitate for 24 hours before collecting cell supernatants for pro-inflammatory cytokine secretion. At the time of harvest, liver weights were recorded and the statistically significant difference in average is shown here. The average liver weight in grams of the knockout mice was determined to be higher than the, than the livers of wild type mice. We believe that in the absence of FFAR4 and its protective effect, liver cells accumulate more damaging triglyceride stores, increasing the overall liver mass. Next, using CYTOF, we determined the macrophage count in each mouse type. As seen here, there are less Kupfer cells for both wild type and knockout mice than there are monocyte derived macrophages, and there is an observed trend of fewer MOMIFs in knockout animals compared to wild type. It is possible that the lack of FFAR4 pre prevents chemotaxis or recruitment of MOMIFs to the liver. Finally, we cultured liver macrophages in vitro with 400 micromolar palmitate and measured pro inflammatory cytosecretion after 24 hours by ELISA. In both control and palmitate treated conditions, we observed a greater concentration of TNF alpha and IL 1 beta secreted in knockout macrophages compared to wild type, suggesting that the lack of FFAR4 contributes to a greater inflammatory response. In general, we observed a decrease in both TNF-alpha and IL-1-beta secretion in macrophages that were treated with palmitate, possibly due to ER stress, when palmitate is incorporated into the ER membrane phospholipids. Lastly, I would like to thank the Sigma Zeta for the Student Research Award to assist with the purchase of reagents and supplies. Thank you.